Hello, I'm Sam. Hello, I'm Lauren. And today we are cooking banana and chocolate biscuits. Oh, but what do we need to tell the people at home, Lauren? So, Sam is my brother. Lauren is my sister. Which means we live in the same house, which means we can stand close to each other. So, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands. What do we need to do first, Lauren? Take off your watch. Now what do I need to do? You need to turn on the tap and wash your hands. What do I need as well, Lauren? You need some soap. Oh. Make sure that we get them all nice and clean. You need to wash them for 20 seconds to make sure they are really clean. The ingredients that we need are two ripe bananas, some chocolate, some milk, some flour, plain flour and some baking powder. Please note, you can use any milk or any chocolate. It does not have to be regular milk or milk chocolate. First, we need to preheat the oven. Make sure you have an adult with you to help. So you turn on the oven and turn it to 180 degrees. Now we need to peel both of the bananas and squash them in the mixing bowl. You can use a fork to mash the bananas. Now we need to pour 80 millilitres of milk. Eighty. Now you need to add the milk to the banana. <gasps> now. Now we need to add 30 grams of chocolate. Put the chocolate in a microwavable jug. Microwave for roughly 40 seconds. It may need a bit longer. Add in the chocolate. Now it's time to do some mixing. Mixing, mixing, now we're doing some mixing. Mixing, mixing, make sure you get it all together. Here we go. 128 grams of plain flour. It's okay. okay. Now we add it to our mixture. Now we need half a tablespoon of baking powder. Then add it to our mixture. Now it's time to mix. Mixing, mixing. Now we're doing some mixing. Keep on mixing till it becomes like this. Now we need to use an ice cream scoop. If you do not have an ice cream scoop, it's okay. You can use a big spoon. Make sure you line a baking tray with greaseproof paper. Now it's time to place them on the tray in big dollops like this. Make sure that you leave a little space between each cookie. Some can be big, and some can be little. Our biscuits are ready to put in the oven. You will need an adult to help you with this part of the cooking. Now we need to set the timer 
for roughly 10 to 15 minutes. We'll go in the middle. So Lauren, what do we need to do next? It's time to tidy up. Time to tidy up. Time to tidy up, time to tidy up, time, time to tidy up, it's time to tidy up today. No, okay. Too much. Too much, Sam. Let's go and tidy up. I want them now. We need to wait. Okay. How's it looking, Sam? All clean. Ask your adult to have a look and see if they're ready. Oh. They need a bit longer. Ask your adult to put them in for about two more minutes. Hungry, hungry, my tummy's rumbling. It's me, it's me, it's here I come. I still need to wait for the beat. Now ask your adult to check the biscuits. They look ready. Now the adult will take out the biscuits and pop them on a safe tray on the side. Ask your adult to turn off the cooker after you've finished. Now we need to leave them to cool down for five minutes. Note, these biscuits are supposed to feel quite squishy. Please ask an adult for help to check they are properly cooked. Now it's time to taste our biscuits. I'm excited. I've been waiting for these. Mmm. I love chocolate. And I love banana. Mm. They are very nice. This is a healthy alternative to chocolate chip cookies. You can make this with the people you live with. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Goodbye. Bye.